<laughs> All right, so we've got a uh, a kitchen, a giant kitchen line, and they say the cabinets are uh, both hot, but the top lines are cold. I'm pretty sure this system has, well, I am sure this system has two compressors on the other side, and we've altered it that one system runs both cabinets and one system runs both rails. It used to be that one compressor did top and bottom, um, and we switched it. So we're here on site. Before we do anything else, we just check that all these our switches are on. Check the breaker and so we got something tripped. Let's go over to the compressor side and see. I don't think this is legible anymore. Yeah, I can't really tell. All right, let's go to the other side before we, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm not gonna reset it. We're gonna go see what's not running. All right, so we've done a visual inspection, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. But I don't see anything that's screaming out as why we would have tripped a breaker. So, we uh, we checked the condenser fan over there, that it spins. I'm going to reset this breaker. Okay, she did not, she did not trip. All right, we have evaporator fans on this side. Our condensing fan started. Our compressor started. Okay, well let's let this run. We gotta figure out why she tripped. I mean, maybe it just tripped because they were cleaning and they got water splashed up on the electrical. Maybe it's nothing, but again, it's not our fans. Well, all our fans are running. So, all right, well let's give this a few minutes, see what it does. <laughs> 